So please may I come in? Ah, uh, come, come. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, uh, sir. Just say good morning, sirs. Okay. Yes, sir. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Nice name. Thank good. you, sir. So, Tejasvi, tell us briefly about yourself. Sir, as you pointed out, my name is Tejasvini Behra. Little I hail louder, from Little Louder. I hail from Bhubaneswar, Odisha, and I've completed my schooling uh, from Bhubaneswar itself. Hmm. I graduated in economics honors from Sri Ram College of Commerce, Delhi University. And thereafter, I pursued Masters in Economics from Jawaharlal Nehru University. Mm. Last year, I qualified for the Odisha Civil Services Examination, on the basis of which I am currently undergoing training as an Odisha Administrative Officer. This is my second attempt at, at UPSC, and I consider myself to be a sincere and hardworking individual. Great. You stood first in this Odisha Civil Services Examination. Yes, sir. You are very modest. You didn't mention that. <laughs> So that's a good plus point for you, I must say. That's very good. Now, having got into civil service of Odisha, you are assured of your cadre. Suppose you join the civil service, you get Nagaland cadre. Which one would you prefer, Odisha civil service or IAS Nagaland? Sir, I'll be preferring the Indian civil services because sir, it would give me a better platform to work for a no, no, larger group. No, no. I have given you a specific example. Yes, sir. Nagaland cadre. Yes, sir. So, okay. this service is then, an all India liability service. So, I am very much prepared to work in any part of the country, be it any state or union territory. Hmm. Okay. I thought uh, you were more attached to Orissa. You want to serve the people of Orissa. I thought that will be your higher priority than, you know, nothing wrong. Serving the country is very good, noble thought. Sir, we all uh, derive our identity from India and our constitution of India. So, I do not consider myself to be a largely on the basis of regional uh, basis, but I consider to be myself a pan-Indian. Having studied from Delhi and staying in Bhubaneswar uh, and other parts of Odisha, I consider myself that I'll be happy to work anywhere that I'm posted. Very good. Uh, you passed out in 2019, then MA in 2021. Yes, sir. So, this is the first attempt, obviously. Uh, for the UPSC, sir, this yeah. is the second attempt. Oh, second. Yes, and sir. interview first time? Interview first time, sir. Okay, no, that's okay. You will make it. Okay, now, <clears throat> which aspect of economics are you comfortable? Micro, macro, monetary policy, mathematical economics, which type? Uh, mm. Sir, I'm mostly interested in the uh, uh, macroeconomics and the public economics or the Indian economics part mostly. Okay, let's talk about monetary policy. Yes, sir. How different is monetary policy from fiscal policy? So, monetary policy basically refers to the uh, money supply in the economy, which is uh, largely handled by the RBI of the of our country. But fiscal policy is a uh, is a tool of the government, that is the central government, which basically deals with the government expenditure, taxation policies, etc. Both are equally important mm. while maintaining the macroeconomic uh, framework of inflation, growth, or employment mm. in the larger run. What is behavioral economics? Uh, sir, behavioral economics is a is a is a topic in economics which deals with uh, like a, a certain uh, how people pe because there are different uh, diversity in people how their uh, behavior differs according to the government policies. Somebody got Nobel Prize on that. Sir, I'm not. Economics. Sir, I'm not very From much Indian? aware about it. Now at least tell me recently. Sir, Abhijit uh, Banji hmm, got. Uh, that's on behavioral economics. So, okay. When is your interview? Sir, it is on 6th of April. You still have time? Yes, Look sir. into the behavioral economics part of it. Sure, sir. They are asking questions on that. Because of that Nobel Prize, it has become more important and it makes a lot of sense also. <clears throat> so, that way, look into that aspect. Okay. Now, somebody is to take over as chairman of the World Bank. Who is that? Some Indian? Any idea? Sir, I have read about it, but I'm just forgetting the name. You are not able to recall his name. Oh, oh dear. Sorry. Should. Huh? At least, can you recall his face? Does he wear a pagadi? He does uh, wear a huh? pagadi, but I'm not it's able. Surname to... Banga. Can you recall? Uh, yes, sir. Name? Yes, sir. I'm <laughs> not able to recall the full name, but. Uh, no, no. You know these things. They will expect you. Yes, sir. I'll, being I'll, economic I'll... student, I mean, even your optional is economic. Yes, sir. So, I thought you should keep track not only of Banga, but others also. Anything happening on the IMF, World Bank, Ministry of Finance, saying, uttering, whatever thing, you should capture. Take a serious note of it. It's very important. Sure, sir. Eh? Sure, sir. Because there is a member, TCA, Anand, ex-professor of Delhi School of Economics. 
we will i mean expect you to answer these basic simple questions yes sir i'll what read about it what papers are you reading papers sir uh, sir uh, i have just i was just on the training so i had a break i was not no, able no, to no newspaper every day you yes, can sir. read you can be training anywhere so i'm following the hindu only hindu no economic daily uh, sir okay. i'll be going through it i mean i go through it but not uh, in detail no no but you start huh? this is our sincere advice mint it costs five rupees it's a very good paper especially the half the front page half page is there yes, sir. they take up a particular topic and discuss yes sir four five questions you yes, know sir. so that will really help you how do you define a, a demographic dividend what is demographic dividend sir a demographic dividend occurs when the population around the age of 15 to the working age population that, that is, is you said 15 to yes sir 15 to 59 years hmm. they are uh, given the uh, they are uh, empowered with uh, social and uh, human capital such as better education better skill development so that they are able to contribute in the uh, growth process in a holistic way uh, you consider india and china today yes sir okay think of india's population and chinese population the age wise structure which country has demographic dividend uh, sir uh, china has already reaped uh, reaped its demographic no, no, please, dividend please please answer to the question today yes sir okay yes sir which country has a edge sir <coughs> even though india dividend? even though india has a larger population base in terms of the working age population <coughs> but uh, when it comes to proper education skill training and other parameters like health and education we lack in that field so we are not able to properly utilize our demographic dividend so as it is also pointed out that our demographic you mean to say china they are able to utilize it uh, so china has already reached that level of uh, demographic dividend today what is the position please answer to the question yes sir you follow when i say today there is some idea behind that you follow Yes. So you should answer to the question, not that you know the concept of demographic dividend. Ten years back or ten years hence, I'm asking today, which country has an age? Sir, this population age-wise, India has a larger population uh, percentage in terms of uh, that working age population. And China? So China has already reached its uh, population stagnancy level. So. Okay, I think you are missing the point. Anyway, now. Sri Ram College of Commerce, very good. There is a Lady Sri Ram College also. Yes, sir. Why is it called Lady Sri Ram? Uh, you don't have Lady Dollar Ram or this that. Lady Sri Ram. Why this emphasis on lady? Sir, it was created in the pre-independence era, where the education of girls uh, was no, no, should no, be promoted. <laughs> lady Sri Ram. Lady Why Sri Ram? Lady? Sir, Why it the is, emphasis lady? Sir, it is for the uh, the, the the colleges uh, for women. Uh, no, that way so many colleges are there. Kalindi I doesn't think. have any so relation many, with Sri Ram. You know, Gargi College. There are also Sri Ram College of Commerce. Sir, I am not aware about. Anyway, I'll the I'll answer is simple. It. You see, he was Sir Sri Ram. Yes, you know? Sir Sri Ram. So the wife of the Sir, if you get a title, gentleman, his wife is always called Lady. Okay, He's sir. Honourable. Yes, sir. Anyway, these are small things. Now, G20. How many members are there in G20? Sir, uh, 19 countries and European Union. 19. Yes, Is Pakistan a member? No, sir. Why? Sir, uh, the criteria of G20 is uh, for like uh, countries which are economically developed, and uh, so Pakistan has been has not been included due to its uh, policies, geo political. Uh, Uh, policies of it, mostly terrorism related. Do you have G eight also? No. Yes, you sir. You know that G eight is there. G eight is, is there. Yes, sir. Now is G eight a subset of G twenty? You know what is a subset mean? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, is it a subset of G twenty? Sir, uh, Russia uh, is not a part of uh, G. Uh, Russia is a part of G eight, but it is. Uh, sir, uh, I'm not sure about it. I'll have to read about it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you are you are you have been a very bright student you know i see your career you know you did very well in economics yes so academically when you are so bright you should pursue that line no? instead of switching to civil services sir uh, civil services will give me a better opportunity and diverse set of opportunities of course and uh, coming from state like odisha and uh, being a independent woman 
I believe this will give me voice and larger platform to also inspire other girls. So that is why I have to choose okay. second steps. Now, tell me five unique things about Katak. Then we'll come to Hoover a little bit later. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, Katak is also known as the Silver City because uh, it is for uh, for its filigree artwork. The second thing was the the Katak was also the capital of uh, uh, Odisha before Bhubaneswar was uh, uh, declared as the capital of uh, Odisha. Third thing about Katak is sir, it, it has a rich heritage, historical heritage and cultural heritage. It uh, holds the Baravati Fort, which is uh, one of the uh, famous tourist attraction. Fourth is sir, the Mahanadi River uh, and the Daya River also crosses uh, Katak. Uh, fifth sir, it is one of the most uh, one of the industrial industrial and uh, industrialized and urbanized cities of uh, Orissa. You are omitting some important things. What are you missing? So it is the place of birth of uh, Subhash Chandra Bose. Yes. It's important. Isn't it? mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are also missing another one. It has got a very premier rice research institute. Yeah. Okay, Katak. Sir. Okay. Okay, sir. okay. Okay. We'll go. and also in you know, the premier college also. Yeah. Yes. Ravanshah college has university. become now. Yes, sir. In, 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 now it has become a university. Mm. So anyway, now we'll come to Bhubaneswar now. Now who was the architect of the city, Bhubaneswar? Sorry, sir, I'm not aware okay, about it. Read about it. it. The German, yes, German who kind of uh, planned the city. So that's why Bhubaneswar has a unique design, if you see. Yes, sir. Uh, the structural design. You know, uh, you know Paradip port has been developed, you know, Paradip. Yes, sir. You know, a major port now in yes, Odisha, uh, getting a lot of uh, ships, vessels, and all that. Why we have not uh, developed Gopalpur as a port? Hmm. It is there, you know, it has all the ingredients of a good port. <laughs> sir, I can take a guess at it. Uh, sir, Paradip has better connection with the hinterland in terms of uh, resources. But Gopalpur uh, doesn't have the infrastructural capacity to hold uh, major cargoes. That is why it has not been uh, promoted as a major port. But Teshwini, you know very well, you have read Odisha history. Once upon a time, they used to do trade from Gopalpur side. Yes, sir. You know, when Kalinga Empire was there, Kalinga was there, yes, sir. they used to go, they used to go to Southeast Asia and they used that port. Yes, sir. So probably both uh, Paradip and Gopalpur are at, are at uh, proximity to each other. So they have focused more on uh, one port to uh, uh, take the advantage of economic of scale. Okay. okay. Now, one question now related to your subject economics. I am not an economist, but I just would like to uh, ask you. Uh, have you heard of Grameen Bank? Grameen Bank, yes, sir. Mm. Who who is the proponent of that, or who you know kind of innovated that or taught uh, talked about that? Sir, he uh, got a Nobel Prize also. Uh, yeah. I uh, Mohammed Yunus. Sir. Where is he located? Sir, he was from. The idea was taken from Bangladesh. Uh, the microcredit facilities and that was implemented in India. Through so, what is so unique about a Grameen Bank which, you know, that… Sir, it leads to better penetration of uh, uh, banking facilities and uh, leads to financial inclusion of, uh, of rural people. He is based in Dhaka, Bangladesh, by the way. Yes. Want to tell you. Anyway, we will come to another uh, top, I mean, term really. What is What do you mean by political economy, if I say that? Sir, political economy, sir, as we know, both politics and economics are the pillars of any country's uh, uh, policies. So, political economy deals with the central governments or the state government's decision regarding that, uh, as I said, taxation, government policies and how people react to it and how the market, the stock market or the people's behavior uh, react to the government policies. Okay. No, you have put Indian Foreign Service as number, f in your number five. In terms yes, of preference? Sir. Yes, sir. Why is that? You don't want to go abroad? Sir, uh, Indian Foreign Service is also one of the most coveted services. But no, I you have put it as a number five. Yeah. Yes, sir. But I wish to work within India and be a part of policy formulation from the bottom up. You approach. mean to say that Indian Foreign Service, you can't work for the country? You will be representing the country mm -hmm. abroad. Definitely, sir. But, sir, my preferences and interest uh, lies uh, working with the people and uh, in the ground level. So that is why I have chosen. Okay, now my last question to you, Teshwani. It relates to the international domain. Uh, 
in a Bangladesh now. Yes, sir. Because we talked about Muhammad Yunus a little while ago. Now, do you think we have very good relations with them? Or what are the areas where we need to work on? Sir, one of the uh, key contentions has been the river water dispute, Bangladesh and India, the river Tista dispute. And also, sir, the Rohingya issues has been a politically burning issue since years now. Uh, we had a land boundary agreement between uh, between India and uh, Bangladesh. Well, when we exchanged conclaves. Conclaves, sir. So that has been a positive uh, side. And uh, I think both India and Bangladesh are rewriting their growth story. And both are uh, equally important to each other, coordinate each other. Tell me if you have been following. Have we got access to Chittagong port? Sir, I'm not aware about no, it. Okay, read about it. Very interesting. Yes, sir. Chittagong port whether we have got access or not. Okay. Why I am talking of that? Because it is very close to our northeast side. Yes, sir. Tripura, for yes, example. Sir, yes, sir. Next to Tripura. Yes, sir. So, if you have, we, we have access to that port, then trade can happen in a big way. Yes, sir. So, read about it. Very interesting. Thank you. Yes, Thank sir. you, sir. Tejaswini. Yes, sir. The budget presented this year, can we say it is a brilliant mix no, of fiscal consolidation, mission. growth and inclusion? So we can say to an extent because uh, the finance minister gave the seven principles, or Shapt Rishi, as she called, to take India to a new growth level. So uh, before uh, so the budget uh, includes not only just the popular demand of the people, but also like reaching the potential of people, youth power, energy, <coughs> financial uh, inclusion, and that is why it can be said as a, a balanced budget. Related with e each of these three, yeah. because of this fiscal consolidation, because of this growth, because of this inclusion. E though you have said, but mm. one or two sentences related with each. On this ground, fiscal consolidation. On this ground, growth and inclusion, like that. Okay, sir. Should yeah. I reframe though my... Though in nutshell you have said. Yes, sir. But how fiscal mm. consolidation, how growth and how inclusion. Yes, sir. Hmm. Sir, uh, in inclusion, it has, uh, it has uh, the budget uh, aspires to focus on the rural development and uh, in terms of the fiscal consolidation, the disinvestment proceeds has been, uh, sir, I am not, I will read about the budget. Okay, sir. no problem. Uh, challenges which our economy is facing and is likely to face <clears throat> in this year. Sir, unemployment is a rising issue. Uh, mm -hmm. We are not able to reap our demographic dividend. Other points, dividend. one, unemployment you have said. Yes, sir. sir oh. Because since India has also been uh, linked with the global economy, mm -hmm. inflation is a <clears throat> rising issue. Next. Uh, so, third, uh, so, third can be the, uh, the, as, uh, the, the, the recently that we had uh, stock market uh, Adani uh, crisis. Mm -hmm. So, as more and more Indians are uh, 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 investing in the stock market. So, having a balance between the monetary and fiscal policy. Depreciation of rupee, could that be? Yes, sir. Depreciation of rupee as well. Pent up demand is decreasing, could that be? Sir, but I believe that pent up demand has risen up after the COVID. Mm, yeah, it has risen, mm -hmm. but now it has started declining, though not at a very mm -hmm. fast rate at the at okay. present, but definitely it has started declining. Okay. Now, what about agriculture output, uh, monsoon uh, probability and all mm -hmm. that? Sir, agriculture uh, needs a uh, 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 structural reform. So, because it is uh, uh, monsoon erratic, so we cannot uh, take agriculture to be so one of the biggest. What type of monsoon do we expect this year? Over the last, say, about three or four years, we have had very good monsoon. Yes, sir. So, what are the pre uh, predictions for uh, this particular year? Sir, if I'm, uh, if I can take a guess, uh, the mm -hmm. heat waves has been uh, rising in mm -hmm. certain part. The heat waves uh, uh, are rising in certain. Okay, can you analyze the situation with respect to El Nino and La Nina? Uh, sir, El Nino, when El Nino occurs, uh, India has a drought-like conditions, but uh, La Nina uh, refers to when there is above-average rainfall. So this year we expect this type. Uh, sir, uh, I think El Nino conditions. I'm not uh, sure about it. Okay, sir. no problem. Uh, who was the founder of your college, Sri Ram College Shri of Commerce? Sir, uh, Sri Ram. Uh, sir, Sri Ram. Sir, eh? yes, sir. Sir. Mm. sir, Lala Sri Ram. Yes, sir. Hmm? Sir, Sri Ram. It has already been discussed. Eh? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And Lady Sri Ram? 
which was founded first sir i know shri ram college of commerce was founded in 1920 shri ram college of commerce or lady shri ram sir i know srcc was formed in 1926 but i am not sure about the okay, lady shri ram okay, college okay no problem i'll deal about uh, so it. in the winter session of the parliament a bill was passed by uh, both um, rajya sabha and uh, lok sabha and rajya sabha related with wildlife protection act amendment do you have any idea related with that sir a very faint idea regarding it uh, okay no on. problem uh women empowerment so many steps have been taken by the government we will talk about the central government at at, at present so by the central government various steps have been taken related with women empowerment these are in the form of centrally sponsored schemes these are in the form of legislation so can you tell me some of the centrally sponsored scheme and some of the legislations related with women empowerment sir uh, firstly if i go about the legislation the pcp ndt act uh, has been a uh, uh, major step the second was sir uh, vishaka guidelines and she box to uh, for the safety of women at their workplace yeah uh, the code on wages bill talk about equal pay and equal remuneration uh, mm -hmm. both men and women mm -hmm. uh, sir uh, and also sir in our constitution article 46 uh, 15 and uh, article 15 talk about equality between men and women mm -hmm. so so these are the provisions sir abrogation of article 35a could that be uh, sir i have to read more about it huh? so i have to read more about it sir okay uh, triple talaq yes sir sorry sir i was just forgetting what is the name of the act which relates with triple talaq shabanu versus sir nee, uh, name of the act the muslim women can you elaborate the muslim women right to protection on protection marriage act marriage anyway act. Okay. so this is all about legislation okay. now central sponsored schemes related with women empowerment yes sir sir i'm not able to recall right now ah uh, one two at least hmm. at least one at least one everywhere so you will find it uh, um, sir i centrally sponsored schemes i'm not able to recall. okay beti bachao beti padhao at least you might yes, be yes sir huh? so sorry anyway there are so many yes. you can read about it now uh, our honorable prime minister says that we are moving ahead from women empowerment to women led development what do you say about it do you agree with this and if yes on what ground you can say that we are moving ahead from women empowerment to women led development sir uh, there are certain points for example the women labor force participation rate has been rising from 20% in order of priority please we are moving ahead from women empowerment to women led development so women are taking more and more responsibility of entrepreneurship and also the self help groups uh, of the government uh, such as mission shakti in odisha is one of the uh, premier example of uh, anyway one more to... question huh? yes sir pnb fraud you might be very well aware of punjab national bank fraud Yes, sir. You are aware. So, which were the main reasons behind this fraud? Uh, so, the NPA crisis was a reason mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. And sir, uh, there are technical terms that I'm not able to recall right now. Okay, uh, uh, can you tell me uh, misuse of SWIFT? So, what exactly SWIFT is? S W I F T, an acronym. So that is a banking acronym, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is uh, for uh, uh, right. which is for uh, seamless transaction, like seamless and yeah, uh, yeah. But it's a, it is an acronym. It stands for um, sir, Society I, uh, for Worldwide Interbanking Financial Telecommunication. Yes, sir. Yeah, and sure. number two was that ICAI. You know, ICAI did not exercise its function properly. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. So uh, and it did not bring it to the notice of the government, not to the notice no. of the bank. so now question related with this fugitive economic offenders act yes sir so what do you mean by fugitive economic offender what is the definition under this particular act sir uh, they are the economic offenders who mm -hmm. have uh, uh, who have committed uh, mm -hmm. uh, the economic offense amount in rupees more than 100 crores oh that's right and fled away uh, yes sir fled away so why do they prefer caribbean countries uh, Uh, sir there is a these countries are known as safe tax havens mm -hmm. and uh, they provide uh, refugees mm -hmm. to uh, uh, to uh, uh, high profile uh, people who have uh, okay good enough along with this 
फिजिटिव इकोनॉमिक ऑफेंडर्स एक्ट एंड अमेंडमेंट वॉज मेड इन द कंपनीज एक्ट एंड पावर ऑफ आई सी आई व टेकन अवे एंड एंड अथॉरिटी वॉज क्रिएटेड सो विच सेक्शन ऑफ द कंपनीज एक्ट एंड विच वॉज द अथॉरिटी क्रिएटेड फॉर दैट पर्पज सर आई एम नॉट अवेयर एनी वेट नो प्रॉब्लम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर तेजस यस सर ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी व्हाट वर द इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसीज ऑफ द ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी सर द इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसीज ऑफ ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी सर दे फॉलोड अ ब्लू वाटर पॉलिसी एंड दे वर मोर फोकस्ड ऑन ट्रेड rather than uh, uh, having uh, 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 other issues with the other uh, trading companies uh, so that's all i can recall so indian constitution has evolved after certain acts in the history of the indian constitution certain acts play the important role so what are the major acts sir you mean the amendments not amendments when the indian constitution was basically formed yes, by the constituent assembly it has taken help of the certain acts which has been passed for the india itself say 1919 act okay yes sir hmm. sir also there are 1935 act which our constitution is majorly borrowed from the 1935 act hmm. and the parliamentary system of government also draws its inspiration from 1935 act so difference between 1919 act and 1935 act what were the major difference So 1919 Act uh, said uh, advocated diarchy form of government, whereas 1935 held its uh, uh, importance in unitary form of government. And uh, in 1935 Act, more uh, reservation and more uh, reserved seats, reserved electorates were increased in terms of caste and uh, other religion based. So, sir, so when was the first election for the country was conducted? Sir, I I am not aware about it. So I have forgotten. Hmm. And when the Indian basically the constitution on which date it was implemented? Implemented. Hmm. 1950. Which date? Sir, the twenty twenty sixth January nineteen fifty. Twenty sixth January. So, so the elections were held uh, first in nineteen fifty two. Ah, yes. Sorry, sir. So from 1947 up to 19 say 50, what were the arrangements for the administration in the country? So we followed the system that was prevalent before independence, uh, and uh, Lord Mountbatten, uh, Mountbatten was uh, was was given the role of the viceroy, and uh, so I have to brush mm-hmm. upon history's knowledge. Mm-hmm. Oh, very good. We'll call you in two minutes. Huh? Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Thank you, sir. My comments. Come, come. Uh, please take a seat. Thank you, sir. Uh, your interview is on sixth April, right? Yes, sir. If I heard you correctly, uh, you are a very good uh, student. You know, you stand a very good chance. But then there are a couple of things which you have yes, to sir. take note of. Yes, sir. One is I don't know for whatever reason today you look very tense, and you get provoked. To me, it looked like that. If sir, you don't know the answer, you have to keep your cool. You see, one of the traits of a good civil servant is to keep cool. Uh, there yes, are all sorts of suggestions will be made, comments will be made, especially if you are meeting some politician or something. So it's very important to keep your cool. Just listen, okay? Don't get provoked and react immediately. Okay, sir. That is, I mean, general thing we are saying, uh, because having got the first rank in Odisha civil service, it's not an easy thing. So you have the potential to make it to the civil service, but then you have to be very clear on basic fundamental things, especially on the economic concepts. Think like behavioral economics. Yes, anybody sir. can ask. Yes, the Nobel Prize winner is there. You see, so that way have a look at it, mm-hmm. and also something about the RBI monetary policy mm-hmm. and the FRBM of the fiscal responsibility and budget management. For want of time, we don't go, we didn't get into the details, but about budget and economic survey, they'll expect you to know a little more and precise answer. Yes, sir. And luckily for you, in the first week of April, Yojana. Special number and budget will come, so okay. try be in touch with the agent as soon as it comes. Get a copy of that, because there will be a four-page summary of economic survey and nine or ten articles on budget, various aspects, health, education, infrastructure, women, all that. So do have a look at it because they will expect you to know little more on the budget side. <clears throat> 
Then something about things like gender budgeting, hmm. the women related. My colleague asked you about the various schemes. You are not able to answer even yes, one. Sir, I so have a look at them. There are a number of schemes which PM has announced. Eh? <laughs> so, uh, so the gender budgeting, then this, and then the IMF, the World Bank chief. You should know the name. You see, is a very key post. Ajay Banga. Ajay uh, Banga. So because if you don't answer that, they will think that you are not keeping track of the happenings on the economic front, nationally and internationally. So that will give a wrong impression. Um, otherwise, you are very good. You are uh, this thing is economics. How have we done economics paper? Optional? I said it was above average, huh? both the papers. Above average? Yes, sir. You were able to, time wise, it was all right? Sir, time, uh, I just Possibly. was not able to complete the ethics paper properly. Okay. Are you reading? You are not reading any economic daily. Please no, start. Sir. You will be in Delhi, right? Yes, sir. I'm in, in Delhi. The interview yes, sir. Yes, sir. So start reading Bint. It's available everywhere. Okay, sir. Huh? Start subscribing and then Indian Express or any one paper you can read. Sure, huh? sir. And, and also see Rajya Sabha, I mean Sansad, that is called channel. It's a very good channel. Yeah. So there they take up a topic, mostly retired bureaucrats or professors, they discuss. So those will be and uh, Particularly 13th se jab budget session shuru hota hai, 13th hmm. of March ko, tab se to dekhna hi dekhna hai, abhi bhi dekhne to achcha. Abhi shuru ho jayega budget session. Anyway, see that, that will give you some relaxation also. So do all that. Don't take too many mocks. At the most, take two at the gap of ten days. So actually, this is my first mock. So I, I plan to take. the first take, mock. Yes, sir. Uh, fine. No, take, take two take more months. at the gap of ten days because current affairs are becoming very important. Yes, sir. You know, so that way it will help you. Uh, but be very careful where you go because yes, there sir. are hundreds of them in this Rajendranagar side. If you go to a wrong group, you know, you may get this. You are very good. Yes, sir. I, sir. Yes, sir. I would like you or we would like you to see yes. as an IAS officer in Odisha. Okay? Yes. <laughs> we'll be okay. Yes. Just That's tell right. me what you'd like to search for. So be you know you can uh, work for the you know state. There are so yes. many things to be done. Yes. But you need to prepare for that. Yes, okay? sir. <clears throat> I will give you a few suggestions yes, which will stand you in good state. Okay. First, learn as much as possible about the state. Yes, sir. Odisha, you know. It has got a rich history. Mm -hmm. Somebody could ask you about the connection with Southeast Asia, you know. Mm -hmm. What what links we had, you know, like <coughs> you know about the expedition <coughs> to uh, Bali. Bali so all that they will ask you. What is the significance of that? Yes, so read about the history part and then Katak. Katak has so many things, you know. Mm -hmm. Focus on that. Bhubaneswar as well. Hmm. Bhuvaneswar is called the city of temples. Why? Yes, yeah. And there is a special architecture of the temples. Yeah, Lingaraj. Lingaraj temple and oh, another Nagaraj. Nagaraj. Yes, sir. Yes. The temple is there. So they will ask you. Somebody may know. Maybe I ask you about Jagannath temple. Yeah. Puri. Konarak sun, sun temple. You know, just read a little. Just so that you know they don't take you. And then when you answer a question, I tell you, just my small advice. First of all, don't say I, I would like to guess. Don't yeah. do that at all. Say, sir, I don't. I have no idea, sir. I don't know. And you are saying I will read about it. You can't say that. Don't say book. that. Simply say, sir, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Read about it means, you know. Yes. See, the point is, I, so the interview, you are you are going for the UPSC interview. So if your answer is, I will read about it, it doesn't yeah. help anyone. Yeah. Does it help you? Because they are basically, you know, trying to assess your personality, not your knowledge daily. Really. But how will they assess your personality? Just by asking what you have studied, yes, where from you are, I mean, from Odisha, so you know, knowledge. Now, uh, for example, uh, international affairs. Yes, sir, I'm on that. So, few topics I'll give you just now, just read, yes, write sir. them. One is G20. Hmm. Read whatever comes in the newspaper, you have to make notes and you know, write about G20. SEO, you know, we are going to, you know, the full form of SEO, no? This is Shanghai. Yeah, read about it, what is happening. Quad is very much in the news today, in the today, today the papers also read about Quad. So, what is the Quad? Fourth one, I will mention uh, the Russia-Ukraine conflict which is going on. So, if you focus on four things and try to make notes, it's not like, like you prepared for your you know exam, all of us did that way. So, we used to write them, yes. you know, like in a uh, bullet format, one, two, three, four, yeah. five. So, you'll exactly know and you keep updating it. As you read the newspapers, you update it. So, that will help you a lot okay, in preparing for the interview. And then, last but not the least, I would say, 
keep track of any foreign dignitary visiting India two days prior to your interview day or two days after that. And that also includes our dignitaries, but I am not mentioning that because our dignitaries are unlikely to visit abroad now. I mean, given the present scenario, yeah. because we are expecting so many foreign visitors. Yeah. No, you yes, know yes, that. Yes, we are getting, expecting the yes, Australian yes, Prime Minister. Yes, yes. We are expecting the Japanese Prime Minister. So, you know, we will be all preparing for the visit and then the summit we have to prepare. So, but there is a possibility. I am yes. not denying the possibility. So, read the newspaper and I think those will stand you in good state. Okay, sir. All the very best. Thank you, sir. Sir, I had a question to ask like uh, my no, dad. Just let him finish. We will get back to you. Haan, Tejasuni, you are a very good candidate, but outstanding on that. Already suggestions have been given. Still one month, approximately. Okay, say, from your depth, identify the problem questions and prepare them very well. And related with current affairs also, international uh, um, relations and all that. Prepare those questions very well. Yojana bilkul mat bhool na padna. Apko already suggest kiya ja chuka hai. मिंट न्यूज़पेपर इकोनॉमिक से रिलेटेड पढ़े yeah. ना पढ़े वो भी चल जाएगा <coughs> लेकिन योजना जरूर पढ़ना बिकॉज दैट विल रिलेट विद इकोनॉमिक्स और इकोनॉमिक सर्वे एंड बजट ठीक है उसको नहीं भूलना है संसद टीवी वॉच करना जरूर फ्रॉम थर्टीन मार्च ऑनवर्ड्स अगर आप अभी भी ना करें चलेगा लेकिन थर्टीन ऑफ मार्च से कभी भी मिस मत करना उसको बहुत अच्छे डिस्कशन होते हैं ठीक है वन मोर थिंग कभी कभी आप बहुत जल्दी सरेंडर कर जाते हैं लेकिन अगर आप सोचें थोड़ा सा फ्यू सेकेंड्स तो आप जरूर जवाब दे पाते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल रिलेटेड विद द सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम्स आप अगर और भी रिकॉल ना कर पाते हैं कोई स्कीम तो एटलीस्ट बेटी बचाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ तो रिकॉल hmm. कर ही लेती तो मैं वट आई वॉन्ट टू से हियर कि आपने बहुत जल्दी सरेंडर कर दिया yes. आपने लेजिस्लेशन का तो बताया काफ़ी अच्छा बताया बताया ना ऐसे ही आप इसको जरूर बताते हैं बताते हैं कि नहीं बताइए कम से कम एक तो बताते हैं yes, sir, I अच्छा उस टाइम ध्यान ही नहीं आ रहा था I don't know, I became blank for okay, कभी कभी हो जाता है और वीमेन लेट डेवलपमेंट कहाँ से शुरू करेंगे प्रेसिडेंट इज योर्स वोमेन प्रेसिडेंट फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर इज योर्स वो ही बजट बना रहा है और उन्हीं के पास जा रहा है जा रही है राधा जा रही है किनके प्रेसिडेंट के पास अप्रूवल के लिए है ना तो कहाँ से ऊपर से शुरू करेंगे कहीं कहीं पे तो बॉटम से शुरू करना ज़्यादा अच्छा रहता है कोई जवाब सवाल किसी को बॉटम मतलब ऊपर से शुरू करना ज़्यादा अच्छा रहता है टॉप डाउन किसी को बॉटम अप करना होता है ठीक है तो प्रेसिडेंट ये कौन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर अदर कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर्स ऑल्सो फोर्टीन परसेंट वीमेन इन द पार्लियामेंट लोकसभा हैं और क्या है उसके अलावा वीमेन लेड डेवलपमेंट में एंटरप्रीनियरशिप आपने मेंशन किया कुछों के नाम बताइए और क्या है उसके अलावा परमानेंट कमीशन फॉर वीमेन लीडिंग रोल इन 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 आर्मी 108 वीमेन आर टू बी प्रमोटेड फ्रॉम लेफ्ट इन कर्नल रैंक टू कर्नल रैंक और वो बड़ा लीडिंग रोल उसको माना जाता है ठीक है और उसके अलावा क्या ग्रास रूट लेवल मोर देन थर्टी पोस्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोस्ट दो वो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोस्ट है यू माइट बी नोइंग बिकॉज यू आर ऑलरेडी पी सी एस है जानते हैं ना पंच और सरपंच आर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोस्ट है ना तो उसको भी आप इसमें ऐड करेंगे लीडिंग रोल है ना तो इस तरीके से प्रोबेबल क्वेश्चन वीमेन वाला आपके लिए प्रोबेबल क्वेश्चन है वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट का कोई और नहीं बताएगा कोई खास फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा सारी चीजें थोड़ी ना पता होती हैं किसी को भी लेकिन आपका क्योंकि वॉचिंग वाइल्ड लाइफ डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज ये हॉबी है इसलिए ऐसे ही प्रोबेबल क्वेश्चंस आप अपने आप आए अब जैसे वो लेडी श्री राम है ना और श्री राम कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स जिन्होंने श्री राम कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स बनाया उन्होंने ही फाउंड इस फाउंडेशन इसकी की लेडी श्री राम सर श्री राम सर श्री राम श्री राम कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स और लेडी श्री राम उनकी वाइफ उनका नाम तो फूलन देवी उनके मेमोरी में उन्होंने उसको बनवाया किसको लेडी श्री राम को है ना है ना और सर श्री राम उनको कहते हैं क्यों सर किनको क्या करते थे पहले 
इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट लाइक नहीं इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट कोई नहीं करते थे यानी नाइटहुड का उपाधि टाइटल नाइटहुड का टाइटल दिया जाता था उनको सर कहते थे सर श्री राम तो वो भी पूछा जा सकता है सर श्री राम में और ये श्री राम जो चेयरमैन साहब ने पूछा था वो लेडी श्री राम उनकी वाइफ की मेमोरी में उन्होंने बनवाया और मेरे ख्याल से लेडी श्री राम कॉलेज पहले बना क्योंकि उनकी मेमोरी में बनवाया था और बाद में श्री राम कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स बना एंड इंसिडेंटली यू नो गीता गोपीनाथ गीता गोपीनाथ ये आपको आपके बहुत बहुत सारे ये हैं उससे एल एस आर के एल एस आर से भी है और श्री राम कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स से भी ले रही गीता गोपीनाथ ओके गुड ठीक है ना तो प्रोबेल क्वेश्चन को अच्छे से करिए और एक महीने मेहनत करनी है खूब अच्छे खूब अच्छी मेहनत करनी है अच्छे इंडियन ना गीता गोपीनाथ नो ना कमिंग टू द इंटरनेशनल and uh, you know they may ask you about women leaders of the world yes sir you know, you know there are some of the names prime ministers yeah. of uh, the world uh, yes i'll read about it i mean i, I mean you know like golda meir yeah uh, you know everybody in our country of course we know sri lanka also bandar nayak you know so many you might be also staying for a month till your interview you will be staying in delhi yes, only yeah. so we have that you will interact sir aapka jasmine because you are a female candidate and you are a very brilliant candidate so so many schemes regarding females regarding <coughs> all politicians all entrepreneur and what about bhuneshwar meaning of bhuneshwar hmm bhuvan bhuneshwar because yes. bhuneshwar itself is a so go the through the meaning of the bhuneshwar because okay. this and you are having a very good chance only think Preparation. nobody knows everything in this world yeah be confident be relaxed it is not a, a test of the knowledge or it is yeah uh, it is test of the personality personality be relaxed that's all if you don't know say, yes, say. i don't know as the sir has mentioned ki i will read about it तो आप रीड करें नहीं करें वो तो हो गया ना इंटरव्यू जैसा भी हुआ अच्छा जैसा भी हो तो इट इज ए पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट रिलैक्स पर्सनैलिटी मीन्स दैट यूर नॉलेज हैज बीन टेस्टेड एज मेम्बर मैं सो एंड बी ऑनेस्ट दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट्स वन ऑफ द वेरी गुड क्वालिटीज यू नो पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट आई डोंट नो सर Let's say out of ten questions. Yeah, don't say I'll read you about it. No, answer even yeah. five of them. It doesn't they matter. Might. But how gracefully that you answer, you come out well hmm. by answering well in a confident manner. You know, yeah. or we don't know the answers. I mean, if supposing the interviewer is yeah. himself put in your position, yes, and the question 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 ग्रेसफुल वे you feel bad that you don't know the answer that sort of feeling should come from your face itself i'm sorry i i'm afraid i don't know the answer if you say how you yes, say it's very important Absolutely. similarly you may know the answer but the, how gracefully you answer is yes, very sir. important you know you know what are your strong points yes. you have a bright yes, academic personality career. thing you are already yes. in a service now police yeah. service see how you so conduct yourself should give so more confidence, confidence. Yes. Yes. Sir, i was not prepared very well for this so i was don't so worry about that kulwarni abhi ek mahina hai one month you see you have got the list in odisha civil service there are also same yes, not any data syllabus is almost the same by no, the way no syllabus is four or five four or five members top karna is nahi so i brief the civil service people in odisha you know it was held in calcutta so uh, anyway the point is is a similar board only tell the question will be more oriya oriya oriented sort of thing here it will be more general the upsc 
But other is the same sort of thing you have to follow. Honest, simplicity and gracefulness. The gracefulness is something very important. I'll emphasize again. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, whatever is very important. Mm. The grace part of it should be there. Okay, sir. Okay? Okay, sir. Good. All good wishes and, and you are having a good chance. chance. I don't know whether Das will agree with me. If you see BBC, this grace comes. Mm. They differ. But they differ in such a nice yes, way, sir. the other person will not get offended. Mm. Now, as Steve Jay mentioned BBC, please follow yes, the BBC sir. controversy. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> read about it. No. no, I was referring to <laughs> no, the I grace. understand. But the grace part of it. Read, read they about it. Agree with that person, but they will say, I am glad you mentioned all this point, but I am afraid I better to dis disagree with you. Then they will come out with their point. First, they give the benefit of doubt and appreciate the other person's viewpoint. <laughs> Then come out with your point. <coughs> you follow. <coughs> That's how the grace part of it comes. Yes, sir. So we would like to see your talking. name in the, <laughs> in the list. In the list. In the list. Okay. Maybe in Shuru Wale, Kuch, 50, <laughs> 20, <laughs> 25, like that. Then yeah, list yeah, mein ka honge hai. Lekin, first. At the what time is your interview? Sir, so it is on uh, 9, uh, 9, huh? 9 a.m. 4 a.m. 9 a.m. So you will be in the... At the newspaper, bhai. Yeah. Mat bhool na. That day's newspaper is very good. Newspaper jarur padna hai. Sir, like you said, to say that I do not know. So, for any question that I am not very sure about the answer, I'll strictly say that I don't yes. know. Yes. Sorry, sir. I don't but know. if you are 90 95% sure, then need not say like this. Can I guess? Sir, though I am not very much yes, sure, it may be like this. Okay, sir. I, it may be like this. Aisa karke bol but if you are not. A guess, sure. guess, can I guess? Can I guess? Oh, to yeah, that is. Doesn't Avoid career jahan tak hai, lekin if you are 90-95% sure, then you can But you know, certain, because of your economic background, etc., they would like to you to be precise. For mm -hmm. example, GDP growth. What does the economic survey say of the last year growth mm -hmm. and the likely growth next year? You can't say around 6%. Nobody will like it. You uh -huh. have to be precise. 6.7%. What is the RBI prediction? Mm -hmm. What is the inflation target? What is the IMF prediction? You know, these you have to be precise 6.4, 6.5, whatever it is. That's right. You can't say six, between 6 and 7, you will say they will say you are <coughs> guessing and bluffing. You will ask what, why the dollar is so strong. Yes. You are an economic student. And they will ask you. And US what is, the, is not doing well. Suppose they ask you what is the exchange rate of Indian rupee and Pakistani rupee. Tell me what is the exchange rate today to a dollar? So today, sir. Huh. Uh, I mean, today means say in recent days. So it has touched 84. But, uh, Indian and yes. Pakistani? Pakistani, I am uh, not. 270. Anyway. 270. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, around that. So you have to be uh, somewhat precise on when it comes to factual information. So National Companies Act, mm -hmm. mein, Article 132, mein, one act kiya gaya tha, and National Financial Reporting Authority yes, yes. was. Yes, sir, I knew about the term, but I was ah. not uh, sure. NPRA, ye banai gai, aur unki power le li gai, mm -hmm. I, ICI. Ki. Could you just repeat the section? 132 may one add kiya gaya. 132 section tha already tha. Okay. 132 one. Okay, sir. Okay. All Thank the best. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. All the best. Thank you.